this fall we've asked uh, a couple of the groups in our church to come and present a mini concert and uh, we're, we've been unusually blessed at our church to have I think musicians that could travel and I think sometimes do a better job than some of the folks that we even have in and I think maybe that's because we love them and uh, it couldn't be because they sing better but anyway mm -hmm. but uh, ooh, <laughs> I'm in trouble uh, but uh, tonight we've asked the the B sisters and uh, we're privileged to have all five of them tonight here and uh, that is right right okay and uh, you lose count somewhere along the way, but uh, what a joy it is to have Brenda and Bonnie and Becky and Beth and uh, Betty Jo. Huh? Oh, and Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. And uh, you can't be here. You're not a bee. And, uh, all right. And Jeremy. And uh, we're thrilled tonight to have the family. We trust you. There'll be a blessing to you, and you'll listen as they sing. Let's welcome them tonight. Yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me with my heart, year we lost my mom to cancer and um, for the last 12 years that we were separated and we've been here at Canyon Creek and they were in Washington when we would work on a song we'd work and we'd work and we'd work and about 10 o'clock on Saturday night before the Sunday morning that we were going to sing it we would get on the phone and that would be 8 o'clock in Washington and we'd call up there and we'd say mom do you want to hear the song that we're going to do tomorrow and she'd say oh yeah I want to hear it so we'd get around the phone and we'd sing Long Distance, the song that we'd worked on. 
and we thought we had it the best that it was going to get before then. That's why we waited so late. And um, we had sing the song to her over the phone, and it never failed. She'd have something to say either, um, well, I really didn't like those background voices with you. I wish you'd, you know, get rid of those. Or she'd say, I wish I was there to play for you, which meant she didn't like the accompaniment tape at all. And, <laughs> but, um, but in the last two months of her life, and we knew that she wasn't going to get better, well, Beth and Betty had gone up to take care of her, and they stayed with her day and night, but they needed help too, and so we took turns going up. And one Sunday morning, um, we were going to sing this song in church, and she was going in and out of what we call the comatose state, and uh, we went in her room and gathered around, and we sang that song for her. And we didn't even know if she really heard it or not, and so we went about the day, and we came back in in the afternoon, and she was in the room all by herself, and she was singing, Yes, Lord, yes. She heard every word of it. And we wanted to start off our concert tonight by singing that song in, in remembrance of my mom, who not only was our best friend, but um, really taught us how to live for the Lord.
Joe. I'm the youngest, years younger than all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are so glad to be here tonight. We've been looking forward to it. Um, we're a real close family. I don't know if you know that. We all live within three minutes of each other. All five of us work at YMCA's. Um, we were close until this week, I'll say, but um, starting Monday night, we decided we're going to practice every night this week. Monday night, we all got together, and we were like, oh, you sound so good on that song. Oh, that's great. Yesterday, it was like, you're going to sing that note? You're joking, right? But, you know, but I think we're all friends now, so <laughs> the next song, oh, I forgot. Becky wants me to tell all the guests that came you know, our friends and family that she wants to take y'all out after church. I think she wanted the mansion. Or the Ritz, one of those. Yeah, one of those. So just meet her at the back door. <laughs> In fact, I think all the church would be welcome. Yes. Right, Becky? <laughs> A fountain of forgiveness for all men. It's a place to go where grace moves there to pardon. And that is where my soul desires to stay.
and the book is open wide. When the DJ men go and bad are recorded there inside, there won't be a simple ending beside my name or a time I let down the crimson blood of Jesus. It kept my wrongs from being found. All the pages have been stained by the blood he shed for me. Praise God, I can't read them, neither can he. What's been forgiven is forgotten, and if I Could ever comprehend or words define 